In this video tutorial for XML Viewer from Seaway Solutions, we're going to take a look at applying filters to the data within an XML file. Uh, to do that, simply load in your XML file and right click anywhere on a grid view. Select Apply Filter um, and then you'll see the Filters tab. Now, let's say in this scenario we want to find all the orders that a particular employee handles with a particular customer. Um, and let's say the customer is this customer here, so that's their ID and that's the customer's name. And the employee can be Michael, which is um, ID of six. So to find all the orders that the customer um, ALFKI made, we put and the employee ID is equal to six. We then click add. Now think of add as being the termination of the condition for the filters. Okay, it's always should always be the last button that you click when you're adding a, a, a condition. Okay, so we will run that that filter. If we go to the orders tab, we'll see that there was only one order made by Michael for this particular customer. So let's say we want to find out more information on this order. All we need to do is select order details because that's going to give us more information on the order. Select the ID and it equals that. Add it to the filter. Run the filter. If we now look here we can see, oh okay, there's three products that um, were on that order and let's say we want to find what those three products were. All we need to do is select the products table to apply the filter to and in this one here uh, we can have three conditions to our filter. The first one is where product ID equals and the value is 28. We're going to put an OR this time. The product ID equals 39 OR the product ID equals 46 click add to end our filter and then run the filter. If we now go to the products table we can see that these are the products that went on that order. Um, so that's pretty much um, as as easy as it gets. Um, it's, it's very simple. There's only other few things is that if there was Sometimes it will be, it'll remember the old filter. You just need to click on clear text to remove and then you can add a new one. Um, if you want to remove the filters that you've applied, you can either click on the remove filter button or cancel. The only difference is that cancel closes the, the form and remove filter will still keep the form open and then you can see. So if I click, it's removed all the filters as you can see. Um, it still allows me to now create other filters that I, uh, that I want or if I click cancel it will remove the filters and take me back to here. So that's pretty much uh, applying filters and everything you need to know. Um, thank you very much and have a good day from Seaway Solutions.